it, cool. So can you share a time where when you have been able to make either a rep or a group of reps more productive? Yeah, I mean, I, I think, you know, there's there's a couple different instances and there's a couple different ways. But I think one of the, you know, one of the most foundational things is just really allowing reps to understand their math of sales. Right. Um, a lot of the times I find their reps come in. They don't really have a plan. Um, they're just kind of I don't want to say they're going through the motions, but they're very reactive to their days. They're not um, really planning out their quarter, their month, their week, their days. And so um, where I think I've, I've been able to have a positive impact there is really being able to work on that planning with them um, and break down, you know, more consumable, more digestible types of approaches to their plan, making sure they've got a plan B. But more importantly, looking at that process and looking at the activity and seeing what type of results it's driving. So if we know that if we can increase, um, and it may be activity, right? But if we can increase the conversion point by 2%, what kind of an impact does that have on your you know, yearly achievement to your quota? So really going over, uh, you know, kind of like a, a math of sales calculator and saying, you know, managing out and just looking at what's the pipeline we need to be driving on a monthly basis, and how is that going to help us get to our numbers, you know, based on whatever the sales cycle may be. Um, so it, it's really getting into like just simplifying the, the key benchmarks that need to be achieved in order to see a certain result. So I think that has helped reps get better visibility and transparency in terms of what needs to happen on, on a day to day level. 